the electric field at a point is the electrostatic force experienced per unit positive charge placed at that point. And the formula for electric field at a point can be derived from a combination of Coulomb's law and our original electric field formula, where Coulomb's law explained to us that the force between any two charges, Q1 and Q2, is directly proportional to the magnitude of those charges and inversely proportional to the distance of separation squared. And our original formula for electric field tells us that the electric field around an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of that charge and inversely proportional to the distance of separation. Now what we can see in writing Coulomb's law is that Coulomb's law contains the expression for the electric field around one of those charges. As we can see here, the first part of Coulomb's law tells us that the force is equal to K times Q1 divided by R squared, which we can rewrite just to make it a bit more visible, times Q2. And what this tells us is that the force experienced between two charges is equal to the product of the electric field, as we can see this is the expression for the electric field, around one of the charges multiplied by the charge experiencing that force. Or this can then be rewritten as E is equal to F over Q. As we can see, the units for this electric field would then very clearly be Newtons divided by Coulomb, or we'd say that as Newtons per Coulomb. It is now very important to be able to distinguish between which electric field formula to use at which time, and very simply, this electric field formula is used when you are given the charge that is creating the electric field. It is the charge that is making the electric field around it. We remember that the electric field is the region in space around a charged object. And so when you are given the magnitude of that charge, this charge over here, we would use this formula to determine the electric field at an area or in a space or at a distance from that object. When instead you are given the charge that is experiencing a force, when you're given a charge that is experiencing a force, then you would use this new formula, which says that E is equal to F over Q, where this Q is the charge that experiences that force. So once again, this formula is used when you're given the charge creating the electric field. This formula is used when you're given the charge experiencing the electric field. What is important to understand here is the direction of an electric field and we know that the direction of an electric field is the direction in which a positive charge would move when placed in that field. So when we are told that a positive charge placed at this point experiences a force to the right, then what that tells us is that the electric field is directed towards the right. When we are told that a positive charge experiences a force at some strange angle, then we know that that is the direction of that electric field. And then sometimes as an alternative, we are given something where we are told that a charge, a negative charge, experiences a force to the left at this point, which then tells us that our electric field is directed to the right at that point. So important to understand the difference between an electric field, which is the entire region in space around a charged object where another object would experience a force, and the electric field at a specific point, which refers to the force that is experienced by a charge placed at that point, and again the emphasis there being on a positive charge placed at that point.